Right over the river to rub. Nigga, I gotta be safe. Let's get to the sports talk. Just how good are the Green Bay Packers? I think, let, the Green Bay Packers are scary because the, the one aspect of their team that that's kind of the unknown is Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has been more of a complimentary guy than the Aaron Rodgers that we've been accustomed to in the past. I mean, we saw some throws last night that were off target, and you're sitting there thinking, "Wow, this is not the Aaron Rodgers that is universally talked about as one of the, you know one of the best, or maybe the best quarterback in the National Football League." And I think the scary part of it is if Aaron Rodgers get hot, get it's the crazy thing though. It seemed like he had an off year, but he stole twenty four touchdowns and three picks. It seemed like it's an off year because how he been playing, because how the team is structured now, and how he has been game managing the game for for the Packers now. It seemed like it. Your off year is your best year. It don't seem like it. He having a good year. Hot. To go along with the Green Bay Packers defense and Aaron Jones rushing the football, this team could absolutely find its way into the Super Bowl. There's drops. There's a missed throw. There's a drop by a receiver. There's a miscommunication. But this has been the story for two months. And to D. Wood's point, the Packers are a good team. They have the potential to be a dominant team. They have the potential to be the top dog in the NFC. And I know that's saying a lot because we saw the graphic. They're 8 and 1 against really good teams. They're 12 and 3. If they connect on four more plays a game, they're not winning games. They're dragging people, they're whooping teams. And that's got to be at least a little bit getting your attention if you're the NFC. At the end of the day, they got to make the plays because they haven't for two months. But they're there to be made. If you're looking at the big teams in the NFC, let's say Seattle, <coughs> part. They haven't been making the plays like that. It have been drop passes from wide receivers, from their tight end position, from their running back position. It's like, it's just, now the Packers is a different team. When they won the Super Bowl against Pittsburgh, they had a solid defense. And that's what they have now. It's a difference from the last time when they ain't had no defense. If they was like this when... The defense wasn't that good. The Green Bay Packers would be struggling. But this time, Aaron Rodgers could just game in the game. He ain't got to do that as much. When you have a solid defense like you had on your Super Bowl run, it changed everything. As the offense ain't moving the football doing so much, the defense will back him up and get him a short field. Has fallen a little bit off by the wayside. If you're looking at New Orleans, Green Bay, and San Francisco, here's the first thought I have. You say you want Aaron Rodgers to get hot. I think he's better off if it's cold, really cold. <laughs> Meaning he needs that game at Lambeau Field and not in the Superdome if he plays New Orleans. You don't like Drew Brees there. But the real question is San Francisco because the eight and one that won was a shellacking yeah. when they went up to Santa Clara, and that is the team I don't think they want to see. Well, I think yeah. I mean, it's important for us to also stop looking at the Green Bay Packers in the same lens as we have for 15 years. We've always thought of the Green Bay Packers oh, they get carried by Aaron Rodgers and they're not really a good football team. They're a complete team. They can run the football their offensive line's outstanding, their defense can play well. And to your point, Greeny, yeah, you want to have that great game in Green Bay. You want everyone to Yeah, you want everyone to come to y'all. Because they will dominate at Lambeau Field if you had to go to play them at their home. Aaron Rodgers is still a dominant quarterback. As long as he's their quarterback, they had a legit chance of going to a Super Bowl. It's up to them to connect on their throws and their plays. And they have a run game with Aaron Jones. So that would take everything off of Aaron Rodgers' shoulder and make his job much easier. That means he don't have to carry a whole lot. Come to you, Aaron Rodgers is comfortable there. They know how it is, how it is to not only play there, but play playoff football there. And you want to force team. That's a tough. I've played December football games there. That is a brutally tough place to play. Not only because the weather, but just the feel, the vibe, the crowd. And again, Rodgers knows how to handle that moment. <laughs> 
Dwood, you said that these Packers could be a Super Bowl team if Rodgers really does get hot. How much confidence do you have, though, that he can do that in your confidence in this team in the postseason? Well, we're talking about Aaron Rodgers. We're talking about the all-time great of this generation. So it definitely can happen. But I'm just going back to the San Francisco 49ers. They're, the San Francisco 49ers play bully ball. They can run, they, they're can they second league in rushing, and that front four can get after everyone. And they got the top-rated pass defense in the National Football League. So to Green's point, I don't think anyone really wants to see the 49ers in the postseason. All right, so right now at the top of the NFC standings, you're looking at San Francisco, you're looking at New Orleans, you're looking at the Packers off the win last night, and then there's Seattle. They've got injury problems. That's the only thing. If they do have to play San Francisco, can they redeem themselves from the last time they played them against them? Can they get past their defense? Could they stop them and slow them down? We're so glad you're watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports and analysis,